How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Hunter Plays as usual. Today we're back for another episode, but today it's a little different. We are at Station 72 in Studio Sunrise Fire Rescue. We're going to be taking a look over uh, their station and what some cool features about it is that we have the newest additional doors as you can see right here. We have the butterfly doors so we have better response and all that. And Station 72 is our main headquarters where all the chiefs are stopped and our battalion chief is. And we have... 286 square miles of response and I'm going to be turning it over to Deputy Chief Anthony for our tour inside. Alright everyone, welcome. So here we have our front doors where you walk in obviously. And we have our public restroom here open to the public. There you go to the bathroom of course. And we have our front office here where we have a worker stationed in case we have someone coming in here who needs some help with something. And on to the employee bathrooms here. Very clean, stuff like that. And then, we've got our lieutenant slash captain's office. We have, if we have a lieutenant or a captain on the shift, then we be in this office, do paperwork, etc. stuff like that. We have our kitchen, where we'd have our firefighters eat, get their food, wash their hands, stuff like that. We have our living quarters, aka a living room, where you can sit down, watch some TV, maybe watch a movie, uh, after a call or something. And on to our meeting table, as known as, can be also as known as, our eating table, briefing room table, whatever you want to call it. And then we have our base over here, and I'm going to go ahead and pass it on to... Firefighter Aiden, aka Battalion Chief Aiden. Go ahead. Alright, so hello, I am Battalion Ch I'm Battalion 39 with the Sunrise Fire Rescue. This is our bay floor. Uh, so we have two rescues or medics, an engine, and a battalion chief. Right here is Rescue 48. This is our, uh, one of our frontline medics that goes out on uh, medicals, fires motor vehicle accidents, really anything that you can imagine. Uh, you have an assortment of tools like Lucas devices, uh, defibs, anything that you would really need. So that is the same with Rescue 40 and Medic, or uh, not Medic, uh, Rescue 70, uh, 72. And then we have Engine 72, the main fire suppression unit. This seats, uh, I believe, five people. So obviously you have your chauffeur, officer, and your three riding positions in the back. This, uh, this covers uh, 72's district, and it is one of our, it is our main f uh, fire apparatus. So there, uh, we have an assortment of tools. Let me just open some of these up. We have two cross lays. Uh, this was a puck engine, so the uh, the pump is inside of a compartment. We have a five inch supply, uh, and really, this is our headquarters. So we have a lot of uh, reserves and other uh, things that are happening around the station. And then, getting to the back of the station is where the battalion chief and the, uh, I guess the division chief is right now. So, now we're going to get on to the gear portion of the uh, station sh Saturday, just to show a little bit of what the gear is, or what the gear is like that we run, or that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. So here is what the back of a battalion chief's car or battalion chief car looks like in uh in sunrise. So I have my bunker gear or my bunker pants all set up with my bunker coat over on the other side. I have a box light that I use to uh uh give myself light when I'm in a dark situation. I have a set of irons to force a door, my helmet, a radio, a med bag, and a, a pack or a SCBA. 
those are all some of the things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And now I'm going to uh, get dressed and show you what I would look like. Okay, let me throw that on. And then... Throw that on. Put my helmet on. So this is what I would look like when I'm fully dressed. Plus my box light. So this is what I would look like on a fire ground. My helmet, which obviously protects my head. With my breathing apparatus. Uh, which connects to my regulator. Which I also have a hood that protects my face. So this is what I would look like. Other than my sunglasses, which I can take off. So don't mind my pass alarm. So this is what I would look like, and this is what our gear would look like on a day to be a day to day basis in Sunrise Volunteer or Su Sunrise Fire Department. Just rep. Uh, fire Com Show Chief Three Five Nine responding. And that's going to be the end of our video, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. And as you guys can see, um, everything is um, a work in progress. And I have no idea that if we will open this or not. But if we do, we will most likely will with only one station at the moment. And I hope that you guys have a nice day. And I hope you guys see you in the next video. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.